G'day guys, this is the all new Secret Lab Titan Evo chair and today we'll be reviewing it and comparing it to my old faithful 2020 Secret Lab Titan chair. If you want to know more and what I think, stick around and let's get into it. G'day guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to the channel and today we're back with another Secret Lab review and today we're reviewing the 2022 Secret Lab Titan Evo and as you can see I've got the fabric model in the cookies and cream colour. And this generation brings a lot of interesting features to the Secret Lab range and certainly one of the most important things to cover here is the magnetic features that are all over the chair now. So we've got magnetic armrests, we've got magnetic pillows and returning we have the magnetic bolt covers as well. That's only just a handful of changes that this chair has, obviously, and if you stick with me for this full review, we'll go through most of them in detail. So if you've been on my channel before, you probably already know of the previous reviews that I put up on my 2020 Secret Lab Titan. So if you're wondering why I have bought the new Secret Lab Titan Evo, the answer is really simple. I just needed a second chair in the household. I did pay 669 Australian dollars for this chair, and I've already had to make a warranty claim on that as well. And I'll make sure I cover that later on in the video. But hopefully once this video is complete, you'll agree that my opinion here is entirely my own. And if you're finding this video valuable, please think about liking and subscribing to the channel as well. It is greatly appreciated. And make sure you jump into the written description because I have left extra information in there, links to my previous reviews, and of course, a link to the product as well. So go ahead and check those out. All right, so I figured I may as well start at the very beginning of the experience with this chair, and that means the unboxing and assembly experience. And I've already covered this pretty much in detail in my previous Secret Lab reviews, and the experience here is reasonably unchanged. And what that actually means is this chair is still one of the best flat pack assembly furniture products I've ever had to assemble. The experience is so much more above and beyond than what I'm used to, and Secret Lab really go out of their way to make sure that you are confident in assembling this chair. And really what that means, as soon as you open that box, you're welcomed by this huge instruction manual that will tell you step by step how to assemble the product. And if you're still having trouble there, they've got QR codes on there as well that take you to videos that show you all these steps in more detail. Once you're in the box too, you'll appreciate that there's not brown, horrible paper and packaging inside. It's all plastic, foam, everything's well protected and fitted snugly in this box. But overall, I think once you put this chair together, you'll agree that it is one of the most easy chairs that you've ever had to assemble. Okay, so before I get in and talk about all the individual new features of the Titan Evo chair, I just wanted to offer my initial impressions of the overall chair after using it for the last month or so. And I'll have to say the experience is almost exactly the same as the previous 2020 Secret Lab Titan. And that's actually a really, really good thing because to be honest, I barely have any complaints about the Secret Lab Titan. I've had that chair for the last year and a half and I've used it for probably close to 5,000 hours with this new working from home lifestyle. And the chair still looks absolutely brand new. There's really no problems with it. I haven't lost any functions. Everything works and feels almost exactly as it does on day one, which gave me the confidence to decide to buy the new Titan Evo chair because my previous experience has been so good. And yes, what that means is Secret Lab are also staying confident with their current firmness levels on their chair, and this chair feels just as firm as my previous generation. Now, I think that's actually a really good thing. I've been going all day in my previous Secret Lab Titan chair for almost every working day for the last year and a half, and I'm confident I would get a very similar experience as I have been on the new Titan Evo. Now let's jump in and talk about the key features that the new generation brings to the game. So the first feature I'll talk about is probably the most interesting one, which is the cloud swap magnetic armrests. And here they are, like they look exactly the same and feel pretty much identical to the previous generation of the Titan series. And the real only difference here is you can really, really easily remove the covers. That's it. Now I find this decision interesting because as someone who's used the previous Titan chair for a long time, I have had no problems with these armrests at all. I find them really, really comfortable. And from a, like a padding perspective, I reckon if you push in with your thumb, there's about three to five millimeters of depth in the actual armrests. Now I think this feature has a bit of a two-pronged approach for Secret Lab. And I actually believe that this feature started 
as a cost saving initiative to solve the problem of sending too many components with warranty claims. Now reading through the comments of my previous reviews and as someone who had the problem themselves, some people out there have had to replace their armrests. Now for that experience for me, what that actually meant is I just had a few scuffs on the top of my original Secret Lab Titan chair on the armrest and Secret Lab to replace that had to send the entire armrest back to me. And that meant that they had to produce, manufacture and send a significantly larger amount of components than were actually required to fix my problem. Now I'm betting that these armrests are probably one of the more commonly requested warranty items in the past and for them to separate that from the entire rest of the system is a huge money saver. Now I also think with what they're planning on doing in their roadmap where Secret Lab have said they're going to start releasing new different types of armrests with a different fit and feel, I think this is their first attempt at really trying to keep accessorization and personalization going for existing owners of these chairs. Now, as I said, if you're someone that finds these armrests comfortable, which I think you really will, there's really absolutely no benefit at this point in having a magnetic armrest. What I actually think is more than a fit and feel product, I think probably what we're gonna start seeing is licensed armrests that come out. So everything from Spider-Man, Batman, to gaming themed armrest covers, I think that's what we're gonna start seeing and that's really what they're gonna try and monetize. Now what also reinforces everything I've just said again is like my previous chair, I've already had another warranty claim with my Titan Evo chair. And unfortunately it is the armrest again. And the problem this time was the actual button on the side of the armrest here that allows me to turn the armrest was actually missing. I had no button. So Secret Lab actually had to send me the entire mechanism without the cover. And what I found when I received the product was a really interesting experience. Now, with my previous Titan chair, I received an armrest wrapped in bubble wrap and that was really it. It was the part, I knew where it would go, it was simple as that. Now, the difference this time is when I actually received that warranty product, it arrived in a high quality box like you could buy it off a shelf at a retail store. Now, this kind of made me question if this new armrest system would bolt onto my previous generation of chair. And lo and behold, it was a perfect fit. And what that actually means is this is my segue into the other reason why Secret Lab have created the cloud swap system is I think they're really trying to get into the game of monetizing the people that have already bought Secret Lab chairs. And considering the perfect fit of when I bolted these cloud swap armrests onto my previous Secret Lab Titan, I'm willing to bet that soon enough you'll be able to buy this new generation of armrests to retrofit on your current Secret Lab chair. So never in my life I thought I would have a magnetic pillow that I could attach onto my fridge or stick onto my car or something like that. But look, it's 2021 and Secret Lab have added a magnetic system to their headrest pillow. And look, I'll have to say, I absolutely love their decision to do this. It has aesthetically really improved the look and feel of the Secret Lab chair. But from a functionality perspective, I have to question if it is the right way to do things. So I'm gonna call it out for what it is. And essentially the main problem that I have with the magnetic headrest system is it's just simply not attached firmly enough onto the back of your chair. Now, what I mean by that is if you have had a previous gaming chair with a headrest pillow on a strap, you still do need to adjust that. And I would say this magnetic pillow comes with effectively the same amount of adjustments that you will need to frequently make to the chair. The only problem though is the great thing about having a strap is it stops the headrest from falling off the chair. And in the circumstances when you need to adjust this, it's probably because it's fallen off its position on the chair and it's stuck behind your back and you'll need to pull it out and reattach it. There you go, I couldn't do it then. <laughs> now that's not to say that it is the end of the world here, but I wish this was a set and forget system where you would simply dial in exactly where you want this to be on the chair and that magnet would be strong enough to permanently hold it in position. Now Secret Lab have redesigned this pillow as well and it is more comfortable compared to the previous generation. The only thing that I wish they still included on this generation of pillow though was the rubber strip. And what the rubber strip did is it really helped keep that kind of in position on your chair. And while the magnets should be doing a great job, I think having a bit of like a physical grip on the chair as well would stop it falling as often. Now the great thing about the old Secret Lab Titan pillow is its repurposability. So if I wanted to throw my pillow in the car for say a road trip, if I wanted a bit more support on my neck, all I need to do is throw that pillow over the headrest of my car and we'd be good to go. 
And if I wanted to store the headrest pillow as well, I could hang it on a coat hanger or on a hook. Whereas with our magnetic pillow, we kind of lose a lot of those functions. This pillow now solely works with the Secret Lab Titan Evo, and it really doesn't have too many other use cases that you could repurpose this to. So overall, the new magnetic pillow is a great feature that I think aesthetically really improves the look of the Secret Lab range. However, my only concern is it's just simply not strong enough when you attach it onto the headrest. If Secret Lab can just improve that strength of the magnets just that little bit, this will be a great, great improvement. And as a bonus feature, you can sort of attach your magnetic headrest to the cloud swap armrest system, and it's pretty comfy. So the lumbar support in the Titan Evo chair has been significantly overhauled and improved in this new generation, and they're calling it the L-Adapt system. And to put it in simple terms, what that means is the lumbar support system now just doesn't come in and out, it also goes up and down. And what that means is you can really, really adjust your back support in a much greater level. And I'll have to say, as someone who's coming from the previous generation, this is a huge improvement in comfort. I've really found that lumbar support to be a serious consideration in how I use the chair. And I have been frequently adjusting it up and down as I kind of give myself a little bit more comfort throughout the day. Now, outside of that too, you do get new dials on both sides of the chair as well to make these adjustments. And those dials have been kind of made to feel a lot better in the hand. And you will probably find yourself using them much more often than you were with your previous chair if you've had one. Now these improvements in the lumbar support system do bring more mechanical components into the backrest. And I have found, especially when I've had the lumbar support dialed up to the max, you can feel in the backrest every now and then a few of the mechanical items kind of doing their magic in the background. But yeah, in my opinion, the new lumbar support system is the hero feature of the 2020 generation. And without a doubt, it is the one feature that I really wish my old Titan had inside. Now the seat base of the Tide Nevo has been completely overhauled and improved and the way Secret Lab is saying it is they've combined the best of the Omega model and the Titan model into a one seat base. And they're calling this the proprietary pebble seat base. Bit of a mouthful there. Now what Secret Lab are really meaning here is they've kind of raised the edges of the seat slightly to give it a little bit more of a supportive look and feel. But they're saying that this comes at no consequence of crossing your legs or repositioning yourself. And I'll have to agree with Secret Lab here, the raised edges on this new chair really don't change the fit or feel of the chair in any way, shape or form. And you can definitely still cross your legs and do anything else that you need to. Now one of the other changes that Secret Lab have done on this chair is they've rounded the front of the chair a lot more. Now, reading through a lot of the comments on my previous reviews, I found some people said that they didn't like the pressure that the Titan put on the back of their legs. And I think with this new decision to round the front a lot more, that's going to seriously help anyone who had a problem with that feature. So if that was a problem for you previously, maybe this is the generation to finally convince you to buy one. So the final feature I'll talk about is really for second-hand Secret Lab buyers, and that is that Secret Lab have now included an NFC tag that you can scan your phone on that's located on the backrest of the chair. And really all this feature does is tell you if this is a genuine, authentic Secret Lab chair. And that's really all there is to it. The page that loads once you scan it with your phone is very generic. It doesn't give you all the information that would be really nice to see, like the model numbers, serial numbers, and color. Any specific details of that chair would be really, really helpful. So likely, as someone who's buying the chair brand new, this feature is not really very helpful. It might help you a few years from now if you decide to sell it. It's as simple as that. Now, I chose the Softweave material again for a few different reasons. Primarily, I wanted to actually compare the Softweave material and the same color from my old Titan 2020 to the new Titan Evo range. And secondly, if you haven't watched my previous reviews, you may not know that I'm just not the biggest fan of PU leather in general. Now, no matter what quality PU leather is, generally speaking, it's known to eventually get to a point where that durability runs out and it starts to crack or fade and so on and so forth. Now in this room that I'm in, I'm not lucky enough to have an air conditioner and on those hot days, particularly reflecting back to my days in my old PU leather chairs, it did get hot it did get sweaty and it was generally uncomfortable. And that's the great thing about the Softweave material is on those really, really hot days, I can work much, much more comfortably in a fabric chair. And I really, really enjoyed that and I'm pretty happy to stick with it.
Now in this generation on the Titan Evo, Secret Lab have improved and updated their fabric material and they're calling it the Secret Lab Soft Weave Plus. And what they're claiming here is it's three and a half times more durable than the previous generation and it's also softer. Now I'm gonna to have to challenge one of those claims there. I will certainly agree that the second you touch this new fabric, you will agree it feels much, much sturdier compared to the previous generation. But their claim about softness, I'm gonna to have to challenge them and disagree on that. To compare these side by side, the older 2020 model does feel both softer and smoother. I would kind of relate it to a difference in pair of jeans. The 2020 generation of softweave material feels like stretchy jeans and this generation feels more like traditional denim jeans. I'm trying to think of a way to describe the feel to you, but generally speaking, while they do feel different, once you're sitting in them, the experience is almost exactly the same. It really is not an issue. So I'm certainly confident that this new Softweave Plus material will last a very, very long time. And I would certainly put money on it that it will last longer than the previous generation on the 2020 range. But that said, my 2020 chair has aged awesomely. It has basically not had any issues at all. It still looks brand new. It's been stain resistant and is still going strong. And I think that's gonna have a lot more years to go before there's any sign of wear. So if that one's going so well, I would only assume that this will go even better. Now, both these chairs are the cookies and cream color, but I'm sure you'll agree they look quite different. Secret Lab have clearly overhauled the design of the Softweave range in terms of their colors. It's kind of funny and hard to describe, but if I have both these chairs side by side, I would almost describe the old Titan chair to have a bit more of a yellow feel to it and the new Titan looks a little bit more blue and you can really notice those differences depending on the lighting environment that you're in. On top of that, I'm sure you'll see that on the Titan Evo, the kind of cookies and cream look, the splodginess, the random black, white and grey colours is a lot more spread across the chair. And I think what that will really help with though is if you do happen to get any stains or anything on the chair, I think you will not notice them as much compared to the previous generation. And that's a really good thing. With that said, I've only had one stain incident on my old chair and I was able to pull out 99.9% .9 of that stain. And if you'd like to know more about that, there is much more detail on that incident on my previous video. Now, while I've only ever sat in the softweave material on the Secret Lab range of chairs, I did want to take a minute and talk about the new Neo Hybrid Leatherette that they've released on the Titan Evo range. Now, I want to kind of talk about this because I think this is a really strategic decision from Secret Lab to move away from the label of PU Leather. Now, Leatherette is commonly referred to as a different descriptive for a fake vinyl PU type of leather. But what Secret Lab have promised with this generation is that their new leatherette material is a 12 times improvement in durability over the previous generation, which was a four times improvement over its previous generation. So what I am confident in saying is if you do go down that leatherette path, I think you are gonna get a really, really good quality chair. However, once again, I do personally believe that that does still mean inevitably, however many years that is down the line, that material will start to crack and wear. Now, if you're driving a reasonably modern car at home, there's a really good chance you're already sitting on a leatherette material. Now, a lot of car brands now will sell leather seats that basically are leatherette completely, or they're a partial leatherette system. And what that actually means is a lot of car brands now will only have the surfaces that touch your body made of genuine leather and the remaining surfaces on that chair will be a leatherette. Now there's a really easy way to tell if your seats are leather or leatherette and all you need to do is press into that material with a finger or thumb and genuine leather will actually start to crease up as you apply that pressure and a leatherette will not. So if you are looking to kind of see what a leatherette feels like, then potentially a trip to the garage is all that you might need to do to kind of give yourself a little bit of a, a vibe on what the Secret Lab chair might feel like. Now, just to reiterate, I have never sat in a PU leather or leatherette variant of the Secret Lab chairs. So this opinion is just based solely on my experience and research. But hey, Secret Lab, if you're listening, if you want to send me one so I can offer my proper opinion on that material, just get in touch with me and I'm sure we can arrange something. So to talk a little bit more about the general changes that have been made across the chair, well, let's start at the very bottom of the chair. Now, really the changes don't really start in this generation until you get to the seat base. So what that means is the wheels, 
the stand and the tilt mechanisms and everything underneath are basically exactly the same. The only cool thing that you do get as a bonus is they have improved the handles to adjust the tilt and locking feature of the chair. And really all that's done is they've extended that handle to make it a little bit easier to grip. And once again, if you wanna swap those across to your older chair, they will attach perfectly. Now moving over to the reclining function of the chair, they have really improved the reclining handle. Uh, the previous generation was pretty tacky and cheap, whereas this one actually has a nice grip to it. Now I've already covered that the seat base has had a complete redesign, so I'll leave that one there. But what I did want to say is the seat base does look much straighter compared to the 2020 variant. And moving on to the backrest now, pretty much the kind of most of the support is very very similar although the shoulder support here doesn't stick out as much compared to the previous generation now i actually really did like that shoulder support but when i actually compare how they feel they both feel pretty much exactly the same it's more of an aesthetic decision that secret labs made now aesthetically speaking i think the secret lab titan evo looks absolutely fantastic however you know what maybe i'm a little bit biased as i've been using the old secret lab titan for a year and a half but I kind of do prefer the look of the previous generation. Now what I really liked is those black highlights that ran down the chair did a great job at kind of taking your attention away from those mechanical components that you can see. Whereas the new design on this Titan Evo model is those black highlights stop right at the back of the base. And what that actually does, at least for the cookies and cream color, is it kind of draws your attention to the mechanical components. You can actually now see the kind of metal inside components of the tilt mechanism. Whereas on the previous generation, they had a nice plastic cover that kind of hid all that from you and it really blended in nicely to that overall black highlight. So, in my opinion, I'm pulling at strings here in terms of the design. I think generally speaking that either one of these chairs will look fantastic and I'm sure you'll be happy with the new generation if you decide to buy one. Now I've already covered the reclining function kind of in depth in my previous video review. So if you wanna know more, check that one out. But what I will say is the Secret Lab chairs do an amazing job at reclining. And what that actually means is the very first time that you recline, you'll probably notice that you are still in perfect balance. Think about the chair that you're probably sitting on right now. If you were to throw yourself back into that chair, do you feel like you're probably gonna tip over? Well, the great thing about the Secret Lab chairs is they have magic in them that stops you from tipping over. There is no sense of vertigo if you do decide to lean back. And that includes leaning back with the chair upright or if you do have the chair reclined as far as it can go. And once again, I've said this in the previous video, but even spinning around in the chair, this chair stays grounded. It is so much more sturdy than likely the chair that you're sitting on right now. You really are planted in exactly where you need to be. Now the Titan Evo is just as sturdy as its previous generation. And what that means is the chair is really, really quiet when you use it. So once again, to keep this tradition going, I'm just gonna do a quick rocking back and forth on this chair so you can hear how quiet it is. And now I'll play that same clip for you again at max volume, just so you can listen extra carefully. So I already gave you a clue on what my warranty problem was with this chair. And unfortunately I seem to have a bad run of luck with bad armrests that come out of the box. Now for the Secret Lab Titan Evo, my problem was a little bit more serious than my previous chair, which was actually this little button on the side of my armrest here that controls this angle had actually, I don't know, gone missing. It wasn't in the box. I only had one button on this side. So the warranty experience was really, really good as it was previously from Secret Lab. So to kick off the warranty claim, I just simply used Secret Lab's contact us page on their website and included all the key information, my invoice number, order number, serial number, so on and so forth. And I included a really short video that I recorded on my phone showing the problem because I could easily see where the problem was. Now, after submitting that form, I had a response back from Secret Lab in under four hours after doing that, which was very, very impressive. And the actions that they asked me to do from there were very, very easy. I just needed to take a photo of the problem, take a photo of the serial number and send that back across to them. And that was it. After a week or so, I had a box arrive at my door, which had the whole new armrest in it, and I bolted it on and we were good to go. So once again, I think Secret Lab's warranty experience was pretty, pretty well above standard. Uh, they really did go above and beyond 
what was required. And the great thing too, because it's really, really annoying, is they didn't ask me to send the broken armrest back. It was just up for me to do whatever I decided I needed to do with it. So while it is broken, it is still functional. So I'll certainly hold on to that old part just in case something goes wrong with the new one. But yeah, I think considering how Secret Lab continue to look after me from a warranty perspective, I would be confident that if you have any issues with your own chair, that you'll get a very, very good experience on the warranty front. So without a doubt, I believe the Secret Lab Titan Evo is the chair to buy if you are gonna be buying one right now. It has the best of everything and clearly Secret Lab have a plan on how some of these features are gonna fit better into the next generations and beyond. And I think getting into this ecosystem is probably the right way to do it. If there was only one thing I could improve with this chair, it would be that magnetic headrest. I do believe it just needs a little bit more strength to make it a truly great product. But with that said, you can always go buy the old strapped one if you really, really decided to, but I think you'll be fine either way. Now, if you did find value in this video, guys, please think about liking and subscribing as well. It is greatly appreciated. And of course, once again, jump into that written description to see a little bit more information on the chair and a link to the product. And until then, we'll see you around for the next video. Have a good one. See you around. Cheers.